hello everyone you're welcome to my channel today i am going to be showing you how i made this beautiful tule dress for a one year old if this is what you would love to learn please kindly follow me through the process so i am working with 10 yards of net or tule as you call it it's actually a soft net some people call it bayo net so i'm also going to be showing you how to draw gather stitch on it so when working with a net that is much let's say 100 yards 50 yards you can you know it's difficult for you to um draw put a loose stitch and start drawing the rope so you can follow me through this process it's, it's actually easy for me raise your gather your your foot up then kindly put little little pleats under the foot then drop it down and stitch in the process please make sure you arrange the net so that your the length of your net will not be shorter than the other so i folded the net at the desired length that i actually want then i'll draw guard a pleat little little pleat under the foot after putting the pleats once i once i am sure that under the foot is full very full i'll drop the foot down then i will stitch gently on it just the way i'm doing it i'll also repeat the process i'll pick little little pleat under it then i would raise my foot up make sure that the foot is full before dropping it so that's how i am going to do till i get to the full length of this net so this is actually easy than drawing a low stitch and trying to gather it because in the process your 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 thread can actually cut so i am done gathering it you can see how it's looking full already you can also double your net before doing the gather stitch so that it can be fuller so i have gone ahead to cut the desired length that i am working with i am working with a baby of one year old so this gown is going to be having a tiny hand at the upper part why the full length of this gown is 22 inches or 21 inches thereabout so this is the lining that i'm working with it's actually a crepe fabric so i'm going to be folding a full flare if you don't have a much fabric you can do a half flare so i'm working i'm doing a full flare for the same gown so the upper part i am going to be cutting to i'm going to be marking the chest circumference of the baby at the upper part that is what i'm going to be doing there why the the lining is going to be four inches or five inches shorter than the net the length of the net so i have marked the upper part already so i'm going to be marking the the length of my lining which is 12 inches so i am marking the full length of the lining which is 12 inches but i'm going to be marking it from the edge so i am connecting the lines together just the way i am doing it then i will cut it through and show you so i'm done cutting it i make sure i left um, allowance so that i can be able to hem the bottom so slit the sides open so i've slitted it i am going to be attaching the lining to the main fabric just the way i am doing it so just look look at the look at the camera and look at the way i'm doing it i'll fold that place then i'll flip it to the other side so it's actually optional to fold you can just put it on top that way then you stitch it on the stitches that i've already made on the fabric that's where you're going to be stitching it but before you do that please attach your sleeve first because that's the mistake i made so i am done stitching the lining on the main fabric so remember i said i made a mistake i am supposed to attach the sleeve first so for the sleeve you have to mark from the neck the front width of the baby and when i measured it from the armhole of the left hand side to the right i got seven inches so the midpoint 
the mid from the midpoint i mark three inches aside so so mark from your center front just mark three inches aside that is where the sleeve will start from so you can see i have marked the center front right now and i'm also going to mark the three inches so that is where i'm going to start putting that's where i'm going to put the sleeve so that's why i said before stitching your lining please attach your sleeve so that it's to cover up the rough edge that's the mistake i made so for the sleeve is the same thing with how i drew the gathers on the main fabric that is how i drew gathers on the sleeve the width of this sleeve is two inches while the length is seven inches so this is how it will be when i attach it so but i want my sleeve to be stretchy so i went ahead to cut an elastic because i want it to be stretchy so um i am going to be fixing the elastic on the sleeve but stitch is so that's where i'm going to be putting it so it's actually two inches shorter than the full length of the sleeve so when you put it at the middle like that you draw you draw it and make sure it gets to the end of the sleeve so this way the sleeve will be stretchy so the width of this sleeve like i said before is two inches and the midpoint which is which is one inches so one inches on both sides the midpoint is where i drew my gathers on so right now i am done stitching the hand on the fabric so you can see how it's looking already our gown is already forming so so you can see that the line you know is covering the rough edge so this is how you do it so that's the rough edge that way so the next thing that we are going to be doing is the from the upper parts please mark the baby round chest circumference so when you mark it you are going to attach your zipper so when you attach your zipper that will be all for the tutorial so i want to say a big thank you to all those that have followed me to this to this point i'm really grateful please if you find this video helpful kindly like share and subscribe to my channel so you can help the bottom you can actually help the bottom of the lining or you can weave is optional so that's actually all for the tutorial so you can see how the gun is looking already it's actually beautiful so i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video in my next video please to have a lovely week ahead thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day